うまくやってくれよ。Nebula Mask Machine Man is a Tokutatsu Hero TV series created by Shotaro Ishinomori and produced by Toei in 1984. It aired from January to September of that year on Nippon TV with a total of 36 episodes. Machine Man started life as an offshoot idea for the Machine Robo toy brand, which at the time was massively popular in Japan with their 600 series toys. And it was seen as an opportunity to build on what Toei was doing at the time with the Super Sentai and Space Sheriff Gavin TV series. Some of the proposed names for the series originally included Jetterman, Alien Machine Man, and then the one they settled on, Nebula Mask Machine Man. Today, the first couple of episodes are available through the Toei Tokutatsu World YouTube channel. Check out the link below to get to those episodes. Machine Man's story focuses on Nick and his helper, a baseball-shaped robot named Bull Boy. They arrive on Earth as part of Nick's schoolwork. He is putting together a senior thesis on the planets of our galaxy. While on Earth, he assumes the identity of Kenta Kase, and as he begins exploring, he meets Maki Hayama, a photographer with the local newspaper. Maki, her brother, and co-workers would serve the function of connecting Machine Man to whatever evil plot of the week was taking place in that particular episode. Ken's original plan was to spend seven days on Earth before moving on to Venus. However, a run-in with the Tentacle organization inspires him to stay on Earth to help combat their evil plans, which are focused on reading the world of children. Yeah, this is not your typical evil organization headed by Professor K, who suffers from children allergy. Tentacle is powerful enough to take on the world's armies, but generally focuses its resources on ever more ridiculous ploys. For example. Machine <laughs> ねの after defeating Tentacle in episode 17, the series switches over to a new storyline where Machine Man now fights Octopus, an organization headed by Lady M, Professor K's niece. Five, ten episodes in, it's clear that Machine Man had a limited budget to work with. There are no elaborate monsters of the week or even a wide range of location shoots. There's also a heavy reliance on stock footage all the way from the first episode to the end of the series. During the first 20 episodes of the series, the weekly villains are mostly made up of two different costumes that they recycle back and forth. Starting with episode 20, we do see a move from those couple of android costumes to more basic ones. For example, clowns, a mummy, a Sora-like character, cat burglars, a tuxedo kamen like villain. The episodic stories are run-of-the-mill storylines that don't do anything particularly inventive. This show was written more so towards a younger audience than its contemporaries from that time. So things are kept fairly simple with a minimal use of longer story arcs. 
There are some generally good fight scenes and stunts in the second half of this series, but across the board Machine Man just fails to create the fun spectacle that shows from the spirit tended to have. Plus, the continuous use of stock footage on top of only having two or three enemies they cycle through just made it feel so repetitive. Overall, I like Machine Man for what it is, the few generally good moments it has, and it's a time capsule from that era. But I will say it's one of the less interesting Tokutato Hero series from the early 80s. That being said, it's still worth checking out, so make sure to use the link below to check out the first couple of episodes on the Toei Tokutatsu World YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah,